Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Melissa. Um, if you're new here, hello, welcome. Today is a special one. I am doing a collaboration with a bunch of wonderful women to show love. I guess she's going to do something very important in her life to improve her health and stuff. And it's Debbie, um, or Debbie Taunt, you guys know on here. She is going to be going away um, to do a, a trial um thing and I will have there is a GoFundMe for her and then will be down in the description box and stuff but a bunch of other wonderful women um we started talking and everything and I know there's gonna be another group too so there's two of them there's this one and then another one but um one second I've got a massive headache going on lack of caffeine um but we all started sitting down and talking on Instagram and stuff about wanting to do a collaboration for Debbie to show her love and tell her that and to show, um, to get people to, um, help with the GoFundMe. I wish I could and at this time I'm strapped. I hope it's still up next month and if it is I will donate then. But right now I am strapped. I had to sell stuff to get some type of income. But, um... I'm, I love Debbie, I've known her for six, seven months now, and I've done one collaboration with her, and I know she's not doing very many anymore because of her health, and I totally understand that, and I praise her for her hard work and everything, and I absolutely love her for it and everything, but, um, yeah, um, so what we're gonna, what we decided to do on this collaboration was to do a look that is with her favorite color, which is purple and stuff. And I added in, because she always wear ears, and I have these cute ears that my daughter gave me. And then I know she really likes these, like, off-the-shoulder, cold-shoulder style. And when I bought this, I actually thought of her when I bought this shirt and stuff. So I'm wearing this shirt, and it has purple in it, too. It's pretty. But I decided that. And then um, it dawned on me last night when I was... I have mentioned to the girls, because I just came to me. The way I found Debbie was watching her collaboration that she did because I was um, oop, hold on let me fix my ears because I have wild little baby hairs sticking out because my cat um the way I found Debbie was watching her do a collaboration with uh, Katie or Kitty I think is her name but she doesn't use YouTube anymore. I'm sad. I really would like to work with her and stuff. I don't know what happened. Um I Anya and um, Butane and stuff. They did a collaboration on the Ace Butane, or she called it Ace Bute and stuff. And it, this was the palette that she used because everyone's kind of hesitant on using this palette and stuff. And it's just really pretty and it's purple and stuff. So I'm going to use this palette and stuff because it just dawned on me last night. Like, literally dawned on me. Because <laughs> I was going through the videos and stuff and then I was like, Wait, that was the palette that she used with the group thing. And I'm going to use glitter. She loves glitter. And I'm going to use the Anya glitter that it's from Lele Posh. And um, it's got a lot of purples and stuff in it. I'm going to do, um, oh, in burlesque from Lele Posh. I have a lot of Lele Posh because she loves working with Lele Posh. I actually have the Amplify on my eyelid as my eye primer and I actually has it as my face base too um and I I use quite a bit of Lele Posh products because I know she loves um Nina and stuff and working with this and I actually Nina's in this group and I'm excited I think this is going to show a photo or something I'm not exactly sure all that stuff because I haven't been in and out because I've been kind of icky lately but um and I'm going to use my um fairy blush because I'm doing a like very like look for her Cause, yeah cause that's the color I'm gonna use I left most of my face blank because I want to do I have brought I lightly did bronzer like a, my lightest bronzer because I don't it is almost like skin tone but it is a bronzer and this is a bronzer which is crazy because it's really 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 light but um I'm gonna work on the eyes and then I'm gonna put like glitter right here and then probably, um, oh no, I'm, 
I have a couple references of ideals of what I want to do. I'm still trying to figure out. I was thinking maybe doing a very blown out thing and add some glitter right here and here. I was thinking about doing something like, I'll put it up. It would be better. But yeah, you guys can't really see it very well. There it goes. That right there. I was thinking about doing that, but making it a really pretty purple eye look and then there's freaking going insane and doing the all over the place and stuff but I'm gonna keep that in I'll probably bring it down here too cuz it's right now I'm gonna leave this blank but I'm gonna first work on my eyes and I do have all my brushes right here so all right let's see I'm gonna go in with pure, it's like a purple gray base. And I'm just gonna dust this on top. Just to give it a little bit of base to the top. But I'm gonna do like use the purple and the pink and probably the peach color in my fairy blush to do the my most of my face and probably some of the colors out of this and then I and probably I have I'm going to use debutante a highlighter shimmer in here and then there's a really beautiful purple in here too and I'm going to use this one and then I would show you guys the palette but it is pretty messed up and this one's called I'm Poisoned. And so I'm going to use that probably on my face. I do have this one called Mermaid Bling. It's really pretty. I may use that, but I'm not sure yet. And then for some reason, this palette, it, I have to find another place to put this one. It's a contouring and it's just making a mess everywhere. But I'm gonna use those. See how rich that gray purple look came out? I'm just trying to dust out my upper. I don't know what it is, but lately my eyeshadow, every single palette I've used, it's just been patchy to that. Gosh, I don't know. It's been driving me insane. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Every single palette I use just not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm using the color called Dusk. I'm just trying, I'm just focusing that right here and going out, blending it out. I have an ideal for my under eye area. And bring this out just a little bit. I'm not very good at doing the whole artistic look. Oh my god, freaking Nina is talented. I wish I had that skills. And it's hard to put makeup right here because I have that scar and it doesn't always want to tend to attach to that area. It's really annoying. I'm 
Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the called, color called uh, Eve very lightly and I'm tapping a little bit off and I'm going to deepen this area and go in. I will darken it up just a little bit with the color called Shadow, which is a very, very dark purple. Actually, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna blow out the bottom a lot, but I'm gonna use Eve and Dust together, but I'm gonna put Eve here first. But I'm gonna blow it out with um, dusk. If I seem a little off, I am not feeling well still. I'll explain in another video because this is not about me. This is about Debbie. I'm going to use that one brush just a little bit in the shadow color and just deepen that area up a little bit. I just barely put my brush in it. Okay. I'm very messy right now. Wow. I am not here. My skills of makeup are crappy right now. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go in with that pure color again and try to I feel rushed I don't know why but I'm not I just whatever is going on with me it's not good so I'm going to use a little bit of the night sky and then I'm going to add in a data B color. So, where is my little I'm going to use a Debbie first. Debbie's on shade first. I'm just going to cover most of my lid.
I really love this color. It's so pretty. I know right now Nina went and put her side down because she's moving. So her side is down right now. Which is totally understandable. Who wants to be trained to move and do orders? Okay, this is too much. So I'm going to go in with Night Sky, which is a kind of a bluish purple. And put it in the rest of the eye. But I'm really excited that she got approved to doing this thing to help her because it, it just sucks that she, she has to go through this. She has a, um, a rare disease called Turkum and stuff and I will have um, what she has down below what it is and stuff and you guys can google it and stuff. Uh, it is a lot to talk about of what it is and everything but it just really sucks. It causes um, you not to be able to walk. She is in a wheelchair and it really sucks that she has to deal with that every day. And the constant pain from it and stuff, that just, it's horrible. So there is that. Now I'm going to try. going to go in with that I'm poison color so much and tap it off and I'm going to do it right here it's kind of almost okay uh, I think with my green hair, it is going to look really interesting. Almost feeling like Beetlejuice on those guys. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to start to add the... And I think I'm going to do... See, look, my hair just... I'm just adding a little bit of depth in my Okay. And so I'm going to go in with that amethyst color
it's easier if I didn't do that because it does not want to listen. Right now, what ears in my way? Yeah, I'm getting very Beetlejuice like, <laughs> what's going on? I'll deepen it up with You guys won't be able to see my upper area very well Now I'll cut this out to make it a little bit more cleaner I'm gonna add a little pink. Come on. Just right in this area. Combining the three colors kind of help. And I'll add the glitter. No. And the highlighter. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in, let me see, do I, I don't think I have a smaller one, I'll use this, it doesn't work all that great sometimes. And I'm using burlesque, which has a very purple undertone, from the Sugar Peel Collection, it's a loose. But it's got a lot of purple and pink hue. And I'll be adding in. Now I'll fix my hair to make it look better. Oh, that came out a little too heavy. That's fine. I can't judge how, I mean, I put like very little pressure into the, I mean, I'm like, just by doing that, it just gives off sh crammy a lot. You can't control. I'm going to sit there and try to tap off as much as I can. Going on with my ear. I'm going in with that one color I used in the beginning just to help with this area a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna close that up. That was a little bit. I 
Mm. I'm gonna do something with my brows afterwards. Let me um take care of this harshness uh, and actually get it to do it. And um, one way to do it, she use your setting powder and just I'm trying to give it like a curch. Right there. there you go. Trying to diffuse it a little bit. I don't want it too heavy. Kind of really a little heavy in certain areas. I'll probably do some other stuff off camera because it's going to take me forever. But I'm going to go in with that brush again and I'm going to go in with Debbie Taunt. Get it to work. This brush always gives me a little bit of a headache. I'm very shiny. Alright, so I'm going to use a combination of the two glitters I have. And they both smell really good. So here's Anya. <laughs> I'm actually going to use I have two brushes I'm going to use. I'm going to put some of it on my hand so it can be easy. I'm just going to focus the glitter right in this area. And just smudge it out. I'm trying to give it like an angled look. Just a little bit. And I would add some of that mermaid bling into it. Alright, sorry. Camera shut down. I'm going to have glitter all over me, and I already know it. But I'm not tripping.
let's just keep using that one. Go in with this a little bit of. No, they don't really you can tell the difference. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, you can a little. This one has a little more different flex in it. Just combine the two. I got some bright lights going on, so give me one second. I'm going to finish off my eyes and um, something in my lips, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so give me a moment. Hey, guys, so this is the final look. Yeah, I did my brows. I did a combination of different um, liners and stuff to do my brows, um, and I did the same with my waterline, which is from NYX and ColourPop, and their purples and stuff. I've got way too many to explain. My lashes are from Unicorn Gang. Unicorn Gang. I don't remember the style. And the same, I'm using their lip, lipstick in Forget Me Not. And I topped it off with the burlesque to do it. And then I added some um, pink, I used some of the liners and a white liner to their little freckles too in it. But yeah, um, I really, really like this look, and I hope Debbie loves it too and everything. I, I thought a woodsy little fairy would be really cute for her and everything. So uh, I love you, Debbie, from the bottom of my heart, heart, <laughs> heart, and everything. And, and yeah, um, go check out all the other lovely ladies. They'll be listed down below and stuff. And yeah, now on to the normal gist. If you want to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and I do try to find air five times a week give or take normal gifs and stuff but i love you all and until next time stay safe okay bye